meta adversity here real quick. So I'm going to actually change this episode to be more of a tutorial on defense platforms and defense stations and how to kind of set that up um, around your base, not necessarily connected to your base. Um, so enjoy. I think out of large grid, because I don't think small grid, yeah, you can't build small grid in the ground anyway, so I think this will work fine. Um, yes, I'm going to probably fly. I apologize. I know. I, I know it's not like actually something that I should be like caring about, but I do care personally. Uh, just because, again, I don't want to actually. Uh, merge blocks. So merge blocks are pistons. Yep, merge blocks are pistons. So let's do a merge block. We'll do a merge block underneath. No? There we go. We'll do a conveyor. And then <clears throat> a connector. And then we will armor. Let's do blast door armor. We're not gonna need modules, so that's good. So yeah, this thing will be um, <coughs> pretty well defended, I think. So what I'm thinking is we'll do the conveyor armor. Oh, we'll actually do it upside down because that only makes sense. Here's the thing, if the merge block is underneath, then I can't actually drop it. So I, I'm probably not gonna drop it. I'm just probably gonna build this directly on, yeah. <clears throat> In the ground, yeah. So conveyor junction is there. Uh, this is a reinforced conveyor tube. Another one. This will all mostly be underground, I think. And then we'll do the turn. Should just be able to go around the loop. And the gun could be here, but then we wouldn't be able to actually know. We'll make it a little bigger than us. So. so I guess the question is, where do I want the gun at? <clears throat> and I think the answer is not here, because I've put the gun here. It's more likely to be um, hit by whatever we land on it with to deliver the cargo. So, if I put heavy armor... Let's do a nice little circle with heavy armor, maybe? Or should I do just continue with the blast door block idea? Let's see how this looks. Um, also, we're going to start building this in actual pieces so that we can actually see what it looks like so we'll do like this side with heavy armor and we'll do the other side with blast doors and see which one we like better obviously um you know you don't really get a say at the moment but yeah. <clears throat> uh we'll do it this way maybe See, one costs more arm, or more uh, cobalt, the other costs more uh, in steel plates, so. I'd prefer paying for the steel plates, but. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Not that I'm a beggar at the moment. <clears throat> So there we go. Um, let's try to think of all the things we need on this. So we're gonna need guns, so turret. Or 
artillery, assault cannon. I think assault cannons are fine. I think artillery would be nice, but I just think it's too large ammo. Um, you know what we could also do? I think we're going to take out the... Come on. There we go. I think we're going to take that conveyor out. I think we're going to put a cargo container right there. Because that would only make sense. Ooh. I thought it was... God damn it. <clears throat> nope. Alright, sorry about that. I had a knock at the front door. Um, Alright, so we are going to... I think car container is the first thing that's going to be on the underground. Um, like we were already saying, let's just do this quickly. We'll rebuild what we had, basically. Um do that we'll do that no mirroring again because of that i think we'll go with the blast door blocks because that is uh just in general kind of uh, cheaper and this is going to be a sort of cheap but sort of you know uh useful defensive structure putting up our defenses first you know <clears throat> I guess. Not that that's necessarily a good thing, obviously. I'll have that facing the center. Have that facing the center. I did put a cargo container here, right? Yep, I did. There we go. I think that's correct. Why does that not look... Oh. What is this? Curved... Oh, okay, so I put two accidentally. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Okay, so from that point, uh, reinforce tube, nectar. Is that right? Wait a minute. I could put a connector right here. It would allow bullets to come down and hit the cargo container, which I don't think I want. So these are 33, 33, 3, 3,700. These are 1,700. Wow. Big difference in integrity. <clears throat> and these are 2,300. Okay. So yeah, so definitely do a reinforced conveyor tube, even if they're not exactly... All right, and from there, I could make this in like a line instead, but I think a nice little circular-ish platform is kind of a cool, cool design. <clears throat> Really what I should do is I should build this in creative and then come back and have it just build this. But, since I'm trying to build everything in a realistic-ish way, actually no, we're gonna actually fill that out. That's fine. <clears throat> there, okay. And I think we'll do one or two batteries. So, honestly, if you have four batteries, it's not gonna, it's, it's rarely gonna fall apart, but we'll do four batteries. 
probably don't even need to ever power it, honestly. Um, actually, now that I think about it, this will be a little high if I do that. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's have this as low as possible. <clears throat> That'll protect it a little bit. And then we'll put assault cannons. Okay, so let's see what we have so far by having it build it. Second. This is very interesting music. That's a pretty good defense. Just three or four of these around the around the base scattered. radius. I don't know why that's not always 100%, but... Yeah, so that little gap there, I'm not that worried about, because I don't think it'll actually anything will fire at it from this, this angle, but... Ooh! No, oh, that's why. <clears throat> so what we'll do now is I think we'll fill this out with blocks there. Light armor blocks is fine, because again... Really, everything we're trying to defend is the centerpiece. If that's defended, then one gun getting shot, or even the this underneath getting shot, is actually better than the gun. Um, but the gun, it would be hard to break past. This is this is uh, armor. And from here, we can kind of do a very similar thing we were doing. Um, we could do that, we could do, we could do that, hey, just make it look a little, a little interesting. Hmm? <clears throat> big thing for this design is it's protecting the connector right like the guns to get to the connector you kind of have to defeat the guns you don't have to but not that it would really matter <clears throat> now we can use like these guys to Try to think which looks, which will look better. Ah, there we go. Not exactly what I wanted. Um, I think we'll remove this end piece. From there, I think I'll have a little bit better. <clears throat> yeah, something like that maybe, but I could do it where it's Could kind of look cool, right? It'd be funny if the hydrogen ran out while I was like flying over the pit and just fell into it again. I definitely died this time. <clears throat> or maybe, uh, yeah, that's good. That's a good question. I don't know if I would because I have a lot more health. 
I just the reason I increase the health is because of like hydrogen man, but also like I hate like just like you bounce off something and immediately die. Like it just it <laughs> it's just so annoying. Look at that. I think that looks kind of good. So the ground will be about this level here. I'm thinking if I can make it that that deep, honestly. So yeah, so it's got it's got turrets, it's got the conveyors all conveyed up, right? It's got um it's got power. How long does it actually have power? That's a good question. 19 days, which isn't necessarily long enough. Um so we're going to do there. Uh, idle movements, fine. Small ships, fine. Large ships, fine. Characters. Uh, I, well, I'm not facing off against characters, so it doesn't matter. Stations. Uh, uh, I don't think it matters. Um, enemies. Neutrals. No. Target locking. I don't care. Target options. Well, I think they're going to do weapons. Because if you shoot the weapons out, yeah, the ship could technically ram you, but all the damage you're doing is probably doing enough to kind of prevent a lot of that. Um, maybe? Conveyor system, yeah. So let's just check to see that they're all the same. Yeah, okay. Uh, so the batteries, connector, landing gear. So I'm going to turn off the strength for that. I'm going to turn off use for parking. Uh, There's not going to be a landing gear on it. Small cargo container. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. So I'm also going to put two little things on it. So we're going to put a rejector on it. We're going to put a programmable block on it. And then we're going to put some solar panels on it. Solar panels are the ones, yep. So we can actually do it this way. Which they don't really line up perfectly. Ooh. Well, that guy's coming pretty close. Oh, no, he's flying away. Oh, now he's flying back. What are these guys again? These are assault cannons. Let's go get some assault cannon ammo because I don't trust that at all. I am not. Yep, they fill up. Good. <laughs> Uh, I'm not dealing with that. is not oh and it's about to be windy
Alright, uh... Okay, 4.16, good. Okay, yeah, they're not getting attacked. I thought maybe they were getting attacked and like drawn my way. Um, oh my God, even from this distance, you can see it. That's awesome because of all the light. That's so cool. Okay, so it's just slowly coming out of range. Uh, so I think we're fine now. So let's go ahead. I think we're gonna put two solar panels on it. And they don't fit like that, so we gotta put them like this. So I'm just gonna put them at like opposite ends and hopefully one of them or both of them stick out of the ground. If they don't, I don't care that much, but if one does, that's fine. If I need to build a ship that just comes over here and empties all its power into the base, that's fine too. Um, So I'm trying to think what else I might need. So light, light is something we might need. Um, so we might just make this like a, a slight pulsing maybe, or a slight flashing. Um, then again, we might be able to do an event controller. Event controller blocks might be fun for a different reason, like to turn all the lights red or something when it detects an enemy. Um, Maybe blink when it detects an enemy. High intensity blink. I think we'll have two different types of lights. We'll have edge lights like these. Okay, I can't put them there. Uh, well, put them there. Rotating lights, um, light panels, search, ooh, search light, ooh, I wish I had thought of the search light earlier, I might have put like a search light on one of these sides so that, and then it like, you know, lights up the enemy, um, actually not a bad idea, maybe we should do that, let's do it, let's do it, I think I like it. Uh, so we're gonna remove that guy, remove that guy, remove that guy. So these will have a little bit less firepower, but it'll be easier to land on them a little bit. Um, bottle. It'll actually be easier for me to attack the enemy because if they come in within range, the spotlight will light them up. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. What, what do I want to add there? How do I want to do that? Um, hmm. 
Okay. Because I don't need... I don't need... Yeah, conveyors to... Do that. But it won't fall. Yep, nothing will fall. Good. I'm gonna buff this up a little bit with blocks, though. Um, and then... We'll do... And we'll make this a little different. This will be kind of like the walkway, let's say. Yeah, it'll be like a like a ramp, but I can actually put actual ramps on it. So I could put them there, or I could put them. Oh. Yeah, I think that's even better, actually. One on each side, maybe, of the searchlight, and then the searchlight's here. Matters which direction it's facing, but we'll call this the back and not the front. Not that I care. So it'll go right onto the gra the dirt. So maybe the gravel's here. It's actually kind of perfect. I like it. Um, and then this, yeah, we'll place with another ramp. I think. And then the searchlight, so... 800. Uh, target small ships, large ships, no characters. Stations, doesn't matter. Neutrals, friendlies, enemies. Target locking, doesn't matter. Target options, weapons. Radius. Oh, yeah. Largest radius there is. Intensity, light up the sky, bro. Like, look at that. Yeah. Now let's look at through our spectator. Yeah, you can see the little light shining in the sky. Perfect. So this this searchlight will illuminate the same range as these guys. Um, stored power. Connector ready. There's no like locked on target. Power output. Hmm. Yeah, there's not like a locked on target. That's fine. Um, but let's just let's just check the one that's distance to lock target. Nine hundred. Less than. We'll call that range of engagement. Um, and then yeah, what would the action be? And the action might be like we can change the lights to be a different color, um, like an orange or something. Um. I kind of like that, I kind of like, but the big thing is that the weapons need to be locked, so uh, enable target locking is back on. Okay. I don't know if they'll lock on by themselves though, that's the thing, so yeah, I have no idea. Oh, and so the deck did its job, right? So the thing is, the thing fell on it, and it didn't blow up. It didn't, like, open holes in the thing. Like, heavy armor would dent, light armor would 
blow right through into the next level. Um, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. It protected it from getting damaged. It was perfect. It's exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, okay. So, I think that's it. So, yeah, it'll be in the sand, and then you just walk up to it. Um, lights on the side. How long is a radius of a sensor? Let's just uh, do a little tack over here. So, um, we have oh, solar panels we gotta put back on. I'll put them both kind of on the back side. Not that, again, it doesn't, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever what side is which. Uh, beacon? No. Projector is good. Beacon is a no-go. Button sound. Programmable. Exhaust pipe. Can't think of much else. We'll probably think of something later. Um, I'm going to put a button panel on it. I don't know where, because none of the blocks are buildable. Just one little button somewhere. Do something like that. I'm just, the buttons will be half buried, which, you know, again, doesn't matter. But I think what we'll do is we'll set the top button to be like guns off or something like that. Available buttons, number pad. I think number pad one is the top one. Yeah, so one is, oh great, no, one is to the left, yeah, and then four is the top one, yeah. So do text and images, nothing, nothing. I'm just trying to imagine it in the dirt, you know? So uh, we got the projector, we've got the event controller just in case we need it. I don't think we're gonna need anything else on this. One cargo container should be fine to hold a lot of ammo because the connector can also hold ammo. I and mean, we can hold thousands of rounds, so I think that'll be fine. There's a Corvette. Okay, not, not coming over here, so that's good. So what are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this a uh, little like defensive station or uh, I don't even know what to call it. Um, it's not a platform. Like, it's not like a defense platform. <laughs> see what, you know. Yeah, see, like, platforms are like these big, bulky... Yeah, it's not really defense platform. It's more like a... It's not a bulwark. Um, turret. Ah, uh, here. This is my favorite... One of my favorite sites to go to. So instead of platform... Turret stand, turret, turret, defense stand. Yeah, defense stand, defense scaffold. Nah, scaffold is more like a, yeah. I think, I think stand is a perfectly good. Defensive stand, yeah, I think that's good. Um, <laughs> 
So... That in there for now. Oh crap, I didn't delete the old one. There we go. So DS, defense stand. Uh, DP would be defense platform. Um, so interior lights. Actually for program level block, we're gonna need And then we're gonna need a renaming. Uh, yeah. Collection, favorites, scripts. Whips block renamer. I think this will be the one that I'm going to use. Prefix or suffix based on grid name. <laughs> okay, so we'll get this one. Um, yeah. So the interior lights we will put on, again, like a 30 radius, but we'll do a f heavy fall off. Fall off of like two. Actually, we'll do like a 50, which is fine. Because I find that having a heavy fall off just means that they're very bright near, and then they get dimmer and dimmer rapidly as you move away. I like that. Intensity of two. Oh, uh, what I wanted to check, uh, sensor. Oh, that's a cool, that's a cool little sensor. Oh man, that's, that's like nothing in size comparison. Well, I guess it's still kind of the same size, but, uh, I can't put it there, put it there. <laughs> Let's just try to put it sort of centered, but we're going to put it right here. Hundred and fifty meters. Okay, so it's nowhere close to the range that we need. <laughs> Never mind then. Not what we needed. Um, yeah, I was going to do if it was like 800 meters or something or even close to it, I would have put like turn all lights, you know, red or something like that. Um, but yeah, the event controller, I think is the only way to do that, but I don't think it'll actually do it because it doesn't have like a setting for like firing at target, you know, um, I think we're actually going to do intensity of one. Okay. Event controller. We don't need it to do anything. So I'll turn it off for now. Uh, connector. Not used for parking. No, 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 no. It's fine. Batteries. I think they're fine just being default. These guys are already set up. <laughs> Projector. We'll handle that in a minute. Program block. Browse scripts. Refresh. Whips. Uh, group blocks that you want to rename. Run the prefix. Grid suffix. So... Do you have an example? Oh, suffix or prefix. So 
suffix at the end and prefix at the beginning. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Yes. Okay. So the name of the grid is DS01. <laughs> grid suffix. No. Prefix. See if it does it. Run. Hey, look at that. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. So now if we have multiple of them, we know which one is which. Um, we could put an antenna and a, like a remote control block. We could also put a laser antenna and then we can control this from any location within range I don't know that there's any point of that though um, not really um, yeah so Solar panels, they're doing their job. Small car, small, uh, yeah, small car container. Um, button control, wait, okay, so guns. So DS01, assault cannon. Let me just check. Rename, desired suffix, desired default prefix. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's nothing to like n number things as we go. Zero one, zero two, zero three, zero four, zero five, zero six, zero seven, zero eight. Not that it really matters, but it could matter. This is the really annoying part of um, this game sometimes. And I always do zero and then a number because it helps. In this case, I'm not naming them anything different because it probably won't matter, but it might. And then, so once we have this blueprint though, I don't know, four, zero, three, zero, two, and zero, one. Okay. So. Turrets. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to have any reason to turn this off other than turning off the turrets, maybe like running over to it and hitting off. Um, I don't think there's any reason to turn off the lights. The projector will need to be on. Defense stand, defense stand, defense stand. Yeah. Or DS. That's fine. Uh, custom data. So in the sci-fi control panel, anyone can use number three on tent text. <laughs> can it rotate it? Background, textures, selected textures, preserve aspect ratio, anyone can use. 
Yeah, I don't know. Alignment is center. What's two look like? I don't think it matters. I was hoping to turn it, but oh well. And then we'll do number pad four. We will do text. Our images, excuse me, not text. Uh, and then we'll do. Oh, I thought they added a bunch more. Didn't they add a bunch more? Wait a minute. Yeah, weren't there a bunch, bunch more? Emoticons, wall signs. Hmm. Oops. Uh, wall signs, wall signs. Are those only available in the LCDs? That would be pretty dumb. Again, I'm on keen side, but like that's the only place that those are available. Ah, that's a mistake. Come on. Come on. Ah. Grid, clear. Huh. Warning signs, not, okay, yeah, warning signs. Um, I have no idea how to add those. Shoot. Oh, are they literally just... Wait a minute. They're literally... Oh, man. I thought this would be... I thought it was an LCD. Jeez. Okay, well, that's... That ruins my ambitions. Trespassers will be shot. God, why is it upside down? We have worked zero days without incident. Why is it automatically flipping to one? Oh, that's kind of cool landing area ships and drones like the problem is though like if it was on lcd you could make it as big as you wanted but this is a tiny little sign what are you gonna do with it like unless you're walking past it in a tiny little ship uh i mean i kind of just like that now <laughs> that's just kind of cool just sitting there It's 
Screw it. Can't put anything on the screen anyway. I'm gonna put a big no access sign. Automated turrets. Groups. Toggle on and off. Real quick, I'm just gonna check our time. Okay, we're coming up on to an hour, so. Available button, Karen turrets. Uh, how's it described? There you go. So you walk up, you can turn it off or on. In case my ship or somebody else's ship is labeled as bad, you can basically just run up to it and turn it off. Um, everything else I think is, oh, you know what we gotta do? We gotta name this. And then real quick, so what we're gonna do is we are going to Okay, we're gonna put a quick image on it. Uh, graph, logo, the problem is that I don't even know what these are. Um, space travel, we want you. Heavy industry, industries of war. Let's just see what this looks like. <laughs> I don't know that that's exactly the, the mood I was going for. Fruit. Badge. No. Can I turn it? I can't turn it, so. Yeah, it won't make a difference anyway. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Too bad. Too bad, so sad. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do now is we are going to remove a lot of these from configuration. So we're going to remove the lights. Yeah, there's no reason to show the lights. There's no reason to show the batteries, maybe? The batteries will show how long it has to last, but I'm sure it'll last fine. Um, yeah, 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 whatever. We'll turn off the event controller. Landing gear will be removed, so I don't care. Uh, connector. We will show in the inventory screen. We'll show it here just so we can lock and unlock it. Programmable block will we will remove. We'll keep it on because I don't really care. Projector will be doing something. We'll turn that off because we'll be grabbing that usually anyway. Searchlight. I don't think it matters. Our container will keep in the inventory. These guys will keep in the inventory. Um, we'll also keep them here. Can't control them, so it doesn't matter. So, again, landing gear will go away. <laughs> Did I name it right? Yes. So just to, you know. Yes, zero one, okay. Now we're gonna remove the landing gear and we're gonna hope that it, we don't blow up. Oh, uh, you know what, before I do that. Let's put some wheels down.
think it'll be fine, but ooh, ooh. I'm glad I made that a wide one instead of a tiny little one like this one. Yep, there we go. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Ah. Oh. Goodness. Okay. So we're done. So that is our defensive platform. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead. Well, okay, we're not done done, but we're we're nearly done. Um, okay, so projector. We have to we have to grab a screenshot of it. That is not garbage, so. There we go. DSO one. Um, so real quick, we'll go into the blueprints. DS. Okay. So then we'll rename this one to. Is it defense? Defense? Eh. Well, fence is. That's fence. So D fence. Uh, stand. Here one. There. Great. Awesome. Um, and then what we can do is we can. Whoop, Projector. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, is this still on? Build new. Nope. Good. <laughs> Blue. Okay. DS. Zero one. There we go. Copy to clipboard. And then we have to move it so it looks like it is turned 90 degrees from us i don't know how to take good projections that aren't turned 90 degrees from people but should just be a quick It's definitely not it. Wrong way. That's actually right. First, my first inclination was right. Wow. Uh, so horizontal offset. That vertical is nothing. Forward. There we go. Uh What the hell? projection show build of only there we go that's what we needed so we we need to select these before we actually add it i guess um okay so no mods just dlc and then yeah, then we can turn, remove this from the terminal. As long as that projector stays up, we will never have to repair it, basically, ourselves. 
Uh, we can remove this from the block terminal screen. These guys can stay, connector can stay, that can stay. So that's good, so we're good. Uh, so now we just need cargo. Good, we're good there. Um, is there anything else I need? I don't think so. All we need now is to... Okay, well, wait a minute, no, no. Okay, so one last thing. So before we're done here, this is actually the blueprint we want. So let's go in the blueprint screen. So let's do just name it something weird. We'll name this one. Does that make sense why we did that? So the original blueprint we made didn't have the projector projecting itself. Now it has the projector projecting itself because it knows what its shape is. So now if we place down this, right, we will now have not only the projected parts, but we'll have everything else. Literally everything of it will be done. All we need to do is start building them. So, and now I'm going a little bit over time. What we will do, we're gonna put a projector on our tractor, <laughs> our green machine. And then we're going to start putting them around places with build and repair. So I'm going to do that next episode and um, I'm going to record it right after this one, but it's going to be next episode for everyone else. So I apologize. I know we kind of spent a little bit of time here. The biggest thing that this, uh, this kind of shows is how you can basically make a, a blueprint that can blueprint itself and like name everything and set everything up so that it's not like confusing and difficult to replicate, right? Um, that's the biggest problem with blueprints is it's sometimes hard to keep them orderly, right? Um, but now we did the naming, we did the renaming, we did the um, naming of the grid, uh, we did all that stuff. Um, and I think that that is basically the easiest way to do it. Now forevermore, I will have a perfectly active, everything is working defense stand um, that I can place down in the world somewhere. So. On that note, I will see everybody next time.